Well, he said something about drinking whiskey. Woo! Oh, he's drinking whiskey and he's smoking a big cigar. That was Big Cigar by Cat Butt off of the Sub Pop 200 compilation album released in 1988. We're listening to that today because we have a Nirvana song that's also from that compilation up in competition today. Technically, this song is a fecal matter song, but we're going to listen to the Nirvana version because this is a Nirvana tournament. Duh. Plus, it's better. Hi, my name is Bean, and you're watching Battle of the Band. We're on day 27 of the Nirvana tournament today, and that is match 27 in round one. And if you're new here, you're wondering what we're doing, let me explain. We took every single Nirvana track that's been released, and we threw them into a single elimination style tournament. Now they're doing battle and head-to-head -head competition until there's one remaining in the end, and that's the very best song Nirvana made. I'm not doing multiple versions of each song, except for Polly. I really love Polly, and there's two great versions of that. But I'm pretty much just trying to pick the first studio version of any track. If there are no studio versions, we'll go with a demo. If there are no demos or studio versions, we'll go with a live track, and so on. We're also trying to do all the covers that they've done. We're going to be starting off today with Spank Through. Spank Through is an ode to masturbation that was released originally in 1985 on Fecal Matters demo tape. But we're going to listen to the Nirvana version, which was released in 1988 with their newer drummer, Chad Channing at the time, and Chris is on it too. Uh, and that one was released on Sub Pop 200, which was kind of a sampler album of what sub pop had to offer at the time a lot of grunge on here it's funny the cover looks almost like a butthead type figure um but definitely predates beavis and butthead i think in 1988 it's competition today is swap meet released in 1989 on bleach this is a song i really enjoy although i do recall it has a really kind of awkward chorus when you're listening to it for the first time just the way the lyrics kind of are rushed into the chorus. It's still a really good song, though. In 2019, Rolling Stone published this as its definitive number 51 of Nirvana's songs. They said, This Bleach track is one of the most tempestuous and restless in Nirvana's catalog. The guitar playing is as anxious as sweaty hands, and Chad Channing's drums race ahead of the action like he's late for the meeting. The feeling fits the content in which Cobain sets the scene of two hometown losers too busy exchanging arts and crafts to shut up and have sex already. Cobain wasn't known as a storyteller, but he was known as a Seattle thrift store fiend. This caustic snapshot of life back home then works like a snapshot jotted down from one such swap meet, the outsider judging the insiders from the periphery. As Nirvana's reputation grew, this small-town send-up seemed to fall out of favor, with the band playing it less than any song released on an official studio album. Too bad, it's a musical fistfight. I don't know if that's praise or what, but let's go ahead and get into it. Here's Spank Through.
super good song. That one's a little different than the one I'm used to. Uh, I grew up listening to the, it was a live album called From the Muddy Banks of Wishka. And I had always heard that version, um, which is a little bit different, but that was really, really close to it. The 1985 version by Fecal Matter isn't close at all, I don't think. All right, let's check out Swap Meet. Pretty great song. I always really enjoyed the the weird vocals in that one. Like they don't exactly go with the guitars and the rest of the rhythms that are happening, but it's really good. Um, it kind of reminds me of some hardcore shit, but not exactly. But I kind of feel like that's where they're coming from a little bit. I don't know. It was nineteen eighty eight. They could have been doing anything at that time, right? Like fucking. The rock scene was crazy at that time. I guess it was 1989. Not as crazy then. But I'm going to go ahead and give that one to Swap Meat. I think Swap Meat is really fucking good. Um, I really enjoy Spank Through too. Again, today, just like yesterday, is really fucking hard. And I hate making these choices. Um, like, I already lost school and now I lost Spank Through. I wish they would stop putting the great songs next to each other like this. Put some, I don't know, like, put Jam in there. Just the one titled Jam off of With the Lights Out. But the sad reality is I gotta buy through to the next round. Anyway, like this video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share with anyone you know who might be into this kind of content and let me know down in the comments which of these two songs you would have chosen if it were you in the hot seat today. That's all the Nirvana action we've got going for the day, but please join me tomorrow when we do some more Nirvana stuff. And we're also doing Magnetic Field, so check us out over there for a gay old time. Until then, I hope you all have a great night, fantastic afternoon, and a wonderful morning.
Thanks for watching. Bye.